what's up? You, what are you looking at? What are you doing? You guys are being weird today. I don't know, it's just a weird day. Jensen has not been sleeping. I have not been sleeping. When Jensen is sleeping, I don't feel like I'm sleeping very well, so I don't know what's going on. I'm running on empty. I'm gonna try to work out really quick. I have so much to do in a short amount of time, so let's just see how much we can do. All right, let's go check out on Jensen. I just have to like, drag his little feet down to the end of the bed because he just makes his way back up to the top. He is sleeping. Well, let's go work out. You guys, I am just feeling so extra today. I mean, look at this headband. I would never wear animal print, but like, I'm just feeling extra. I'm wearing jeans. Shut up, I know, I am wearing jeans. But look wouldn't be complete. Got my Crocs on because you know what? Boom, we all about the comfort in this household. But for real, I just have back issues and I have plantar fasciitis, I've had Achilles injuries. I'm just very good at hurting myself. I to wear shoes in my house because I need the support. You will be seeing a lot of my Crocs. It's fine. We got the weans. Hey weans. I did not get a full workout in. I wanted to do cardio, just a slow incline walking, but Jensen started making noise and I just knew I had a lot to do today. Okay. Wanted to get it done. I'm gonna make a protein shake. He's kind of talking, we're just gonna write that out. Oh my gosh, he's doing his cute little chatters, I love it. Let's make our protein shake. And lastly, because I am so extra today, I just have to point out, boom, my face. I started eating healthy. I had to go cold turkey, do a cleanse, as clean eating as I possibly could. My skin is thanking me. It feels so good. I won't lie, I have not been working out consistently. Just haven't had the motivation to be consistent about it. Just slowly adding on each week something new because I have realized there's so much that I want to accomplish, but I'm spreading myself thin. I need to like build on top. Another thing I want to do is I really need to start doing yoga because I hurt myself all the time. I just know it'd be good for me. <laughs> you want an ice cube, don't you, buddy? All right. I've been craving a protein shake. We are going to make a peanut butter chocolate banana shake. We got some ice, we got our frozen banana in here. Got our chocolate whey protein. I love to use this PB2 because it is not as many calories as normal peanut butter. But again, I'm feeling so extra today. I'm gonna use PB2 and real peanut butter. And our peanut butter. So excited. I made a post back in the day in my Instagram. I had probably eight things of different kinds of peanut butter in our cupboard because you can take away my carbs, but you can never touch my dang peanut butter. I promise I would not lead you astray, but you guys, you have to add spinach. It will not change the taste. I added two or three cups of spinach to my shake the other day. Couldn't taste it. Did it turn it green and look really nasty? Yes. I did make a rookie mistake and I put way too much in here. I'm actually not gonna be able to fit too much spinach in here, but it's fine. I was trying to be even more extra and you can see how that worked out. I'm so excited for this. I have been thinking about this for days. Now that's pretty sad, but eh. I usually like to have the main event showcased in my videos, AKA Jensen. I keep thinking he's about to wake up and then he doesn't. And I just have other things to do. So it's gonna be a lot of me today. I am sorry. And I will eventually be incorporating more of Jensen into my videos and less talking to the camera. As for today, I'm gonna go over my genetic results. Get that part out of the way. Before I discuss my results, Hi, Sam.
I was very optimistic about my potential of not having the gene mutation and just hoping that it was gonna be um, a rare mutation on Jensen's NDP gene. Everyone's so needy today. Oh. Because <laughs> I was trying to work it out. If I would have inherited the gene mutation from my dad, my dad would have had the condition. He would be blind. So it didn't come from my dad. Hey, what if I got the gene mutation from my mom? So that seems really rare because I have two brothers and she had a 50-50 chance of passing it on to her boys. So the fact that my brothers aren't blind, I have a good chance that it was just a random mutation in Jensen's genes. Of course, I didn't want to get my hopes up. And I'm working back into my mom's family line and she's got five siblings, three brothers, two sisters, and I'm working it out in my head and no one's blind wouldn't have been possessed in one of the men all the female carriers but they all have kids and they have kids and it's just like where did it come from i was just very optimistic that jensen maybe just had it sporadically in his gene however as i have learned with this disease it's just better not to get your hopes up because uh kind of get crushed along the way oh thank you he smells the peanut butter. Oh, I have a little bit of footage of when I got the phone call because I wanted it to be raw. I really wanted to show what it is like going through this experience. Naturally, my iPad died. Like I told you guys, with my past clips, my iPad just like deleted some of my video. I've since gotten a computer. I think you could kind of see it in my last video. Super excited about that. All right. Do, do, do. These are my genetic results. Super exciting, super official. It says, your NDP gene analysis results return positive. You are a heterozygous carrier of NDP gene exon 3 deletion. Ding! I have a mutation. I know, super cute. Um, yeah, I am the carrier for Jensen's gene mutation. So you know how I worked it all out in my head, how I would have gotten it from my mom. Well, that is our next step. My mom is the next one that's gonna get tested to see if she gave it to me or if it just kind of happened in my chromosomes. So. What do these results mean to me? If I were to get pregnant again, I have a 50-50 chance of giving this mutation to my offspring. There's a 25% chance that I would give the gene mutation to my daughter and she would be a carrier for the disease. There's a 25% chance that I'd give my healthy X chromosome to my daughter and she would not be a carrier. There's a 25% chance that I'd give my healthy X chromosome to a son and he would not be affected. Or there's a 25% chance that I would give my affected X chromosome to my son so he would be affected, AKA Jensen. Overall, 50-50 chance of spreading my mutation to any other offspring. What does this mean for Josh and I with having any more kids? Great question, thanks for asking. If we were to decide to have another kiddo, which my plan was always to have at least two, there are multiple options for us that we can just go about our business and conceive naturally. You can conceive naturally and then they can test the fetus, see if it does have the gene mutation. There are fertility options where it'd be in vitro fertilization. They'd grow the embryos, test them, see which ones are healthy, which ones are or not and then do the in vitro for the healthy pregnancy. That is a lot to think about. Obviously there is adoption to all of this even if we were to decide to have another kid is years down the road. I am such a planner. I already think about oh man am I ever going to experience this again because I really rushed through my pregnancy. We are in a pandemic. I know too much being in ultrasound tech and I just worried all the time. It kills me because I wish I could go back and enjoy the process because I did feel great during pregnancy overall. I love I loved the bump. I just loved everything about that and have never felt more beautiful in my life. I am going to be very sad if I don't get to go through that experience again. With that being said, again, we don't know what kind of journey we're going to have with Jensen. If we were to decide to have another kiddo, then Josh and I know that we, we both feel like we could not go through this again. We would not be able to just conceive normally and just go about our business and kind of see what happens. That's just not for us. Major kudos to all the families that do do that. That wouldn't be part of our options. I personally would not be able to conceive normally and then test the fetus and then say the fetus does possess the gene. I am just personally not able to then get rid of that fetus. That would not be part of our options either. That would lead us to in vitro and testing an embryo before implantation, which is just another whole spectrum of how do I feel about that. It's really hard because I definitely want to be pregnant again and these other options aren't going to work for us, so this is my only option. But then to think about it as I am choosing a healthy baby over a mutation baby, I really truly can't imagine not having Jensen. I don't regret anything 
thing about Jensen. I mean, do I wish our circumstances were different? Of course, but I wouldn't change him. He is who he is and I love that kid. And he's already taught me so much, so I would not change that for the world. Therefore, I then feel very guilty to choose a healthy baby over one that possesses the gene mutation. Go ahead, Sam. Good boy. As my disclaimer, I really don't know all the ins and outs of the whole fertility part of this. I did talk to our genetic counselor and we are getting set up with a fertility team now just to get our questions out of the way and just to be able to have an idea of what our future might hold. The other aspect of this, what does this mean for Jensen and if he were to have kids? Males have XY chromosomes and females have XX. The reason why I don't show any blindness or anything is because I have my mutated X chromosome and then I basically have a backup, so my other X chromosome. So I still have a working copy. But for men, since I gave my X chromosome to Jensen, Josh gave his Y chromosome to Jensen, therefore he only has my X chromosome and the 50% chance that he got the one that was not working. That's how he possesses my mutated X chromosome. If he were to have boys, he would not pass the gene mutation on because he would be only giving his Y chromosome. If Jensen had any girls, he would be giving his mutated X chromosome to them. However, they would likely not possess any retinopathies or show any symptoms, but they would be carriers for the gene mutation. As always, thank you so much for listening. Next week, I'm going to try to do a little less of me just talking to the camera and incorporate a lot more of Jensen. I thought it was very important to cover our past and how we got to where we are today. These next couple videos are going to cover more of the day in the life, why we do what we do with Jensen, why we position him certain ways, things that we talk to him about and just like physical therapy and how that process works for us and lastly it is a huge help if you like and subscribe our videos and just please help us spread the awareness and help others that might be going through the same position as we were and just need to have a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel just to know you're not alone there are so many awesome resources out there and I am definitely here to help thanks for putting up with my extra nest today okay bye your targeted NDP Janae, oh my gosh, a gene analyst, I cannot handle myself. Blah, 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 blah. Okay.